Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Everybody, to today's installment of Home Solutions, Dennis Purvis live with you here in the Mix 1041 studios. Happy Saturday to everybody as you're driving around today. Uh, we got something special for you. Now, normally we are your go-to for your home improvement and DIY projects for anything lawn and garden, but today we wanted to get ready for the holiday season and get just about the best way we could think to do it. Um, before we get started, it's shameless plug time. So I just want to say if there's any of your home improvement needs you need, we are your locally owned, veteran owned general contractor. We can handle anything residential, whether you're looking to remodel those kitchens or bathrooms, maybe you want to put an addition, build a garage, or you want to build a custom home. We would love to help you out. Don't forget our clean team. Wendy and her crew are ready to come out and get your house looking fantastic for the holidays. Remember, we are a green clean team. No harmful chlorines or ammonias. We use all natural products that are guaranteed to have your house smelling great and germ free. So give us a call 458-4135 or look us up online pro93homesolutions.com. We would love to help you guys out. So now that I've got that out of the way, uh, I just want to thank everybody that's listening. Maybe you're driving around this morning doing crossing things off your honeydew list. Maybe you're listening in the car. Maybe you're streaming online. Maybe you got the Mix 1041 app, which if you don't have it, you need to download it today. Uh, or you're watching us on Facebook. Hi. We're, I'm, I'm confused today because I'm in a different place. Hi, cameras. <laughs> um, but uh, we've got a house full. So I'm going to get right to it. Today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of you, if you're a listener of the station, it's not a stranger to you. But today, we really want to talk about something that I think is one of the best parts of this community and our town, uh, and that's the empty stocking fund. And uh, you're going to hear much more about that here on the station as the weeks go by and we get closer to the holidays. But today, I'm, um, I'm blessed. Well, blessed twice and cursed once. But I've got uh, <laughs> <laughs> from the empty stocking fund, I've got Brenda Lawson and the honorable silent mayor, as we've determined, silent, yes. uh, Mr. Tom Rowland. <clears throat> and... Unfortunately, <laughs> the owner of this outfit, the, the reason you're listening, the lovely, the talented Steve Hartlock. America's sweetheart. There we go. Well, formerly, formerly of the Osmond family, but they kicked me out. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk well, to Dennis, you. Dennis, it's good it. to see you. It's good. To <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> good to see you guys. For all of you, first of all, thank you for taking the time. I know this is a busy part of, part of the year for you guys, especially. Thank you for taking the time to come in and talk. Well, we so, need the money. That's what we're doing. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, you know, Mayor, maybe we'll just kick it off with you. Um, talk about how this, this all started. Well, I get, and Brenda, you sort of helped me on this. Okay. We, we actually joined three organizations together. The Empty Stocking Fund, which is the fundraising, uh, making Christmas memories that Brenda started. Uh, which was fantastic. And then Reverend Littlefield's party for the children. So we put the party, we put the fundraiser, and we put the gifts in. We moved it around a little bit. We modified it a little bit. Um, we don't have the Christmas party now because of COVID. And Brenda, you can tell what, how we're going to handle that. We're still going to Okoye Middle School and distribute the, the gifts for the children. Yes, on and December the, 11th. The gifts would have, would, would have been purchased by then. And every child who receives a gift has chosen what gift they like to have. Uh, we try to split it 50% toys, 50% clothing. And the, the children who are the recipients have made a list. And there, it's not the naughty list, it's the good list. Yeah. That leaves Steve out. Yeah. So they have made the list and we have volunteers who buy for the children and try to keep it uh, as, as close as what the children would like to have. Merchandise is not as good this year as it has been, but uh, it's going to it's going to be better next year. So that shopping being done, the the parents will come up to Okoye Middle School, and there's a process for them to pick up the child's gift, and hopefully they'll keep it under the Christmas tree until Christmas time. Yeah. 
So Brenda, talk a little bit. How do you guys determine uh, the need for for the to find the children? Well, whenever we started creating Christmas memories, what that was the biggest question we had. How do we know yeah. who who needs in this community? And so we were blessed by our Cleveland City Schools and our Bradley County Schools, the teachers. There's nobody that knows a child's needs better than a teacher. Amen. And so they have blessed us all through the years for 30 something years of working with us to help us to identify those families that have children who need. Uh, you know, this year we had a lot of children that didn't ask for toys and we try to, you know, we had to improvise a little bit, hoping that we got something they'd like because they put all clothing that they needed all clothing on there this year. And, but then we also have a faith memorial that, um, uh, they determine that's for some families of maybe some kids that don't go to don't go to school that don't fit in that criteria. Then Faith for Moral has a program that they um, determine by meeting with the families who who the what the needs are. That's crazy, and it's kind of talk about touching your heart a little bit when you've got kids asking for clothes. I mean, I grew up. You know, we weren't rich by any means. We were pretty solidly middle class or lower middle class. But, uh, you know, I, I used to get mad when I got the sweater from grandma. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember asking for many clothes till I got to high school and fashion mattered. Right. I, I was mean, doing the shopping one of the days and I noticed one young man wanted a blanket. He said he always takes mama's blanket away from her. Oh, my God. Mm. And that was, that was sad. And they wanted they wanted socks and they wanted clothes. They wanted coats and uh mostly clothing and and they're always thinking about their siblings or their parents as well mm. and that's something i just i know we're talking about empty <clears throat> stocking fund but folks one of the things uh, one of the organizations i'm a part of uh with our company is uh helps with the uh cleveland and chattanooga shelters and we don't think about folks that the right now the number one thing is the weather turns that 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 those that are homeless and are in need they ask for socks it's something we all take for granted, but you know, it's getting cold. They can, they can go without socks when it's 80 degrees and 60 at night, but, uh, socks, scarves, toboggans, those kinds of things. So listen, they're both, I know both shelters here and in Chattanooga have uh, drop off facilities, but that is something to think about, but to have a child ask for those things, uh, just shows you the need in this community. And I think, if anything, it kind of shows the heart and, and Steve uh, kind of gets you involved here. And I know that I know you well enough personally that I know that's one of the things that 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 was evident to you when you guys started this. How many years have you guys been involved now? <clears throat> well, Tom and uh, Sandra and Bobby Taylor started the on air appeal in 1970. And so uh, this is uh, 40. What's that? 45. Figure that out. Oh, no. Did uh, you say 70? 1970. So that's. Uh, 51. That's older than that. That's older than me. It makes me feel yeah, better. Yeah, I feel much uh, better. It's been going around before I was born. Yeah, that's it's been, crazy. It's been a long time. Now, the party that uh, we raised the money for, my grandfather, Brother Littlefield, started in 1945. So that's, you know, wow. about uh, 70, uh, some odd years, 76 years ago. So it feels school. Uh, yeah, you know what? He actually started the army before that. That's they right. uh, And then really out of his car before, even before that. But you know, he came, uh, he came from Maine. Yeah. My, my, and there's a lot of new people there. My papa, it's unbelievable, has been in heaven for 25 years this year. But there's not a week that goes by I don't hear about him. And he, uh, he came here not really knowing anybody. He knew a couple of people. He came from the state of Maine. He had lived all over the nation and different places uh, ministering and starting churches. Had just started a church in Atlanta. Before he came here, it's still there, actually. There's a faith memorial in Atlanta that's still there right before he came. Comes up and just sees the need in Cleveland. And and so, as Tom said, when we joined together five or six years ago, something of that nature, uh, we've just been able to help more people now. Uh, yeah. You know, last year, all-time record. All-time. Without me, by the way. I was home for two weeks with COVID, so I wasn't even here. It was a good thing. Wait, and it was a good on. thing. I think maybe we're on to something. Here. I think you are. <laughs> no, and, and Jimmy Logan and I were both out last year. We were not That's here. And look what happened. <laughs> Said all time so we're records. retiring. It's over. But no, it, it's the highlight of the year for this station. It, it really is. And 
our staff gets behind it, our, our people get behind it. And it's going to be a great, you know, we start uh, Monday after Thanksgiving, Monday, November 29th. I'll get in the format a little bit more later, but, nor, you know, a lot used to, we'd go to all kinds of remotes, live uh, broadcasts. We're going to do, we're going to, with none last year, obviously, three this year. So we'll kick it off at Church of God headquarters, November 29th. That sounds great. You know, Brother Littlefield, <clears throat> I knew him very well, and he could walk down the street and somebody make a gift to him. And before he walked a block, it was gone. He would give it mm -hmm. to somebody else, whether yep. it was money, whether it was a coat, or whether it was a bicycle. Yeah. That's, that's quite a legacy. And, and to see, you know, I think I'm struck here today is, you know, we, you hear about it. It's kind of impossible not to, especially with the radio station now and, and the reach you guys have, not just radio, but the social media, the TV, the, everything you, that's going on now. I know that's out there, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are probably wondering, how can I get behind this right now? Uh, so Brenda, if somebody is listening right now and they want to make a donation, walk them through what they need to do right now. Okay. So you can, we have a couple of ways. You can drop something off here at the station. Uh, just make sure Steve doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, are we talking? Are we talking later. money yeah. only? Is no, there checks? Can, can they drop money, Yeah, money checks, or you can go uh, do it by credit card. Okay. At emptystocking.org. Mm -hmm. okay. Emptystocking.org. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So if you're listening out there, folks, uh, Steve, give them the address to the station here. Yeah, we're uh, uh, 309 Mouse Creek Road, uh, right across from Duracell. Which just celebrated their 60th anniversary. Right where the deer. Right. You say, hey, yeah. Yeah. You know, a deer greeted me the first morning I ever pulled in there to do the show. A deer was right here waiting on me. Almost just saying, at dusk is when they come. Almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. And did you see all the flags that Duracell had yeah. out here on the fence? Hey, you picked up uh, a yeah. few of those. We did. Yeah. We we got some for next Fourth of July. So, <laughs> thought it'd be nice. So uh, you can come by here to the station. Uh, make a donation if they're writing a check. If you're writing a check and you'd like to drop it in the mail, it's P.O. Box 2370, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. And they make it out just to empty stocking. Empty stocking fund. fund. Empty stocking fund. And remember, folks, if you're looking for those uh, 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 transactions online, you want to do a credit card, emptystocking.org. You can go on there and make that right now. And, folks, Brenda, Tom, how much of what goes into those donation goes out 100 percent did you hear Maybe that a little bit more. let's say that again how many how much of their donation will go to a kid or a child a family in need 100 percent 100 percent folks this isn't somebody trying to get rich uh sitting back creating a nonprofit to to mask some things folks this is 100 percent what goes in their hands just like brother littlefield goes right back out you can't ask for a better local uh charity to, to put get behind I, any of you're listening out there to the folks that listen to us week in week out just take a minute think about it think about if your son your daughter your grandson your granddaughter came up to you and said all i want for christmas are some socks all i want some christmas and i'm going to get emotional just thinking about this thinking about my kids they come up and say i need a blanket because i keep taking moms folks get behind this emptystocking.org come by the station here drop that off we will We'll make sure here at the station it gets directly to them. Um, let's help our let's help our community. And listen, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself together here during the break, and we'll come back. We come back. We're gonna talk more about uh, kind of the history uh, a little bit, some of the things going. And Steve's gonna talk us to us a lot about a lot of cool stuff coming up for this. We'll be right back. You're listening, Home Solutions, right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Bus. Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back, everybody, to Home Solutions, a special edition. Uh, we're getting into the holiday edition here. And uh, in the coming weeks, folks, we're going to have some exciting stuff. We're going to, after the, this week, we'll get back on track with some 
uh, DIY home improvement lawn and garden ideas. We've got folks coming for the holidays. I got some special guests coming up. Uh, excited about that. So just hang in there with us uh, through the holidays. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to have some folks that I know you can use and give you some tips you can use uh, for this time of year. Uh, but today it is all about our community and, and that where that starts for us today is uh, the Empty Stocking Fund. I'm joined in studio today with Steve Hartline, owner of the stations here. Um, I've got Brenda Lawson and Mayor Tom Rowland from uh, Empty Stocking Fund. And we're talking about all things giving back right now. So we, I just heard something on the break. And number one, I'm, Brenda, I was floored when I heard this. I think you will be too. I said, do you know how many families um, that you're going to serve. She said, I can't tell you families, but I can tell you kids. So Brenda, I'm not going to steal your thunder. How many children right now have you shopped for, for this Christmas? As of right now, we've shopped for 1,193. 1,193. And as Mayor Roland pointed out, that's almost 1,200. Um, Steve and I were both amazed because neither one of us did well in math. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, but can you imagine that impact folks? And Brenda, you know, Mayor was telling us during the break about how the, the, the story of how you kind of got involved in the precursor of this, this, this project uh, with creating Christmas memories. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that story and how you got involved with this? Yeah, back in the 1980s, I was involved in a club here called the Pilot Club. It was a group of women, and we always had service projects and things we did. And one of the service projects that we did at Christmas time is we would pick a school and we would go to the school and we'd have a little Christmas party and we'd do crafts and do games and different things with all the children. And so one year we were doing our party and we were at one of the local schools and I sat down and we were talking and one of the things I always do is talk to the kids about, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? And so they, we went through the table and and everybody was telling me, you know, kind of what they wanted to be. Well, this one little boy said he wanted to draw. Well, I instantly thought of architect yeah. or artist or whatever. And so when I said, oh, you want to be an architect? And he said, no, ma'am. And I said, oh, so you want to be an artist and draw pictures? No, ma'am. And so my you know, my brain's thinking, okay, what else, is, yeah. what else does he want to do? So I kind of just asked myself, well, tell me what you want to draw. And he said, I want to draw a check like my daddy. Mm. Mm. And that just broke my heart. <laughs> mm. And so that was when I realized that we as a community have to break that cycle somehow. Yeah. And so, you know, what better way is to teach these kids? And this is the, the, the beauty of this program from, from creating Christmas memories all the way now through Empty Stocking Fun is we teach these kids to volunteer and give back and pass it on. You know, that's the one thing I, I that, you know, when a, when a teenagers come to me and they're like, I was part of this program. What can I do to help? And I'm like, volunteer your time. And when you get to the point in life where you can pay it forward, then pay it for it. But right now you can volunteer your time. And I will tell you, our youth in this community are tremendous yeah. mm -hmm. about stepping up and volunteering their time. And, I, you know, the older I get. I joke with my dad all the time. Not only am I becoming more like my father, but there's times that I get a little bit like Clint Eastwood, you know, get off my lawn is how I feel sometimes when you start talking kids these days. But I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm involved with uh, a couple youth events here um, through our local Sons of the American Revolution chapter. I do our speech contest and our essay contest. And we were just talking about this at our meeting last week with Mayor Brooks that every year I'm amazed by the young people, not just, not just with their intelligence, not just with their athletic abilities, but with their heart for service. Mm -hmm. And, and listen, I don't think it's a, it's, it's a, um, accident that when you talk to the counselors at Cleveland and Walker Valley, um, uh, Bradley, uh, even the private schools here in town and our homeschool students, their heart for service. They don't have to worry about the service pro the, the service requirements, community service pro pro for Tennessee Promise or any of those programs, because by the time they're sophomores and juniors, this is just what they've done, mm -hmm. and this is what's expected. Now they go to the one you know at Lee and Cleveland State, same thing, and it's that's a part of this. There is a very servant-minded 
community here. And I don't think there's any accident that our kids are, are growing up. And, you know, when you get an opportunity, it's got, and I'll just ask the both of you guys, as you guys have, you know, you just mentioned it, that can't do anything but warm your heart when you've got a child that 10 years ago you were running a package to or you saw them at the party and now they're coming back and wanting to shop. They're wanting to give a portion of their check to this. How are the, well, how many of Dennis, those let me, let me switch gears just a little bit. <clears throat> when we were having the, pro the uh, party at Okoye Middle School, we had Santa Claus. <laughs> and I was sort of at that front door where Santa Claus would come in. And the kids were reluctant to have a picture made with Santa Claus. So finally we realized they thought that, that, it, that we were charging for that picture. Oh my gosh. So we put up signs, no charge. We'd tell them it's free. And then all the kids came in to have a picture made with Santa Claus. But just little things like that, the average person can't imagine. The, the budgets are just so tight. It is, you know, and, and I feel, man, it, that, that right me, just because I, that hit me because I, I think about taking the kids to the mall. And seeing Santa come up and go and paying for your pictures, just something I've done since my kids were, you know, young enough to think to be more like to be mortified it. by Santa Claus, right? Yeah. Um, and, and one of the things you said, Brenda, is, you know, pay it forward. Something that's really come out in the kind of national culture in the last maybe decade or two. But, you know, you guys have been doing this before it was cool, right? <laughs> you know, being from for, with the time that you guys have had in this, and I know Steve with the legacy of your grandfather and what with what's been in this community, this really is a, something that's grown organically. This isn't something that's that is that's fluffed or hyped. This is, uh, I say that as we're on a radio station talking about it, but it is, <laughs> this has grown organically throughout. And I'm gonna make you tell this story because I can't stop thinking about it, but uh, I know, Mayor, you told us the story about the little boy with the blanket, but talk to us a little bit about the little boy that came to you, Brenda. So we have a little boy that um, when we were going through through the sheets, making sure we had all, all the information we needed to be able to, for our volunteers to purchase what they need, well, this one little boy, uh, his mother had filled out everything on the thing, but you could tell he had wrote it on there. And he wrote on there all he really wanted for Christmas was a suit to wear to church. Mm. So we're going to make sure he gets a suit to wear to church. When, when Brenda organized creating Christmas memories and Sandra and I were involved with it, mm. we would go pick up the children and bring to Kmart and shop with them, shop actually with the children. <clears throat> well, in, Bar in Valerie, every child that we picked up was hungry and we'd have to stop by Hardee's or McDonald's and pick up something to eat for breakfast. They were just starved to death. And many would say, I just can't get my mind on shopping because I'm so hungry. And you know, I actually, to, when I think about this now, I don't think I ever realized what I was, what the organization was, but, uh, I don't know if it was empty stocking or some other organization here in town, but I remember when we were at Lee in my service club, we did shopping one year for some, for some uh, students and we had kids back then we went and picked them up. Yes. And I remember being over here on the South end of Southeast part of town, kind of headed out towards uh, 64 Benton area and picked up a little, little boy, got in the car, got in my car with um, a pair of, it was December. He gets in with no socks and a pair of flip flops and his mother comes out the front door and says, make sure you get something that we can sell. Yeah. Mm. And I immediately, I was, I was a, you know, 20 something young, 20 something old college kid without a care in the world. And, and just think, Hey, I'm going to, we're going to have some fun today. And it got real, real quick. And, uh, you know, that's where it hit me when you talked about breaking the cycle mm -hmm. and all he wanted, he wanted, he wanted clothes cause he had been wearing that outfit since Thursday mm -hmm. and he wanted socks and he wanted some cool shoes and he wanted a bike and I'm sitting there, we had a budget and I'm sitting there and I'm mm -hmm. like, if I got to throw in 20, we're going to make this happen, <laughs> whatever we got to do. And it's, uh, so, I mean, Folks, this is something in our in our community that we should not only be proud of, but we need to support wholeheartedly. And uh, one more time, if you want to make a donation, you can come right here to the station, uh, Mouse Creek Road, right across from Duracell. Um, drop it off here. Uh, if you got a check, it goes to Empty Stocking Fund, emptystocking.org. You can go there right now, do a credit card transaction.
give a donation. I'm assuming everything is tax deductible, correct? It, yes. yes. It's that we are a 501c3. Listen, folks, your, if your CPA or accountant's talking to you, it's time to make those donations. Uh, I don't care if you paid your tithes at church. Good word talks about offerings, too. It's time to make one. But uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Steve, let's talk about how the station. Yeah, I know you guys are getting this thing kicked off uh, uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving, correct? Uh, Monday. The Monday, Monday after yeah. Thanksgiving. Sorry. Yeah, we uh, will kick it off on uh, Monday, November 29th at Church of God uh, headquarters. Been doing that for several years now. First of all, Steve, I used to start at Thanksgiving Day, but you don't work that day. Yeah, we don't work yeah. that day. We've we, we got to give the staff some we need time to, off. We, uh, Austin, we're going to need to edit that out. To make yeah, sure we'll just uh, snip Steve, that right out. Steve's yeah. going to take care of that. Okay, go yeah, ahead. we'll do that. And then uh, the first uh, Friday, the third, will be at Garden Plaza uh, for the first time. We're going to be under the uh, overhang, and, and uh, Ken Bolin is uh, uh, inviting us out. And then Another old league guy from us. That's went right. To school with us. That's how old we are. We all have real jobs. Well, except for you. Go well, right except ahead. for me. Keep I mean, on. I'm the keep, one. Keep and, going. and and then the the end of it, uh, the finale will be back at Life Care uh, this year. So we'll be there with uh, the choirs, and we're going to be one of the first events they've had uh, in in a, a few in a couple of years. So uh, we'll we'll be there on uh, December the 10th. That's what wraps it up. And one of the things I want to kind of do today is I want to challenge. I got a lot of friends that own businesses in this town, and I want to. Um, from I've talked to my partners at Pro 93, and we want to challenge uh, we want to challenge every business that can out there to to during those ten days make a donation, uh, bring it by the station. Um, if it's a good enough check, Steve might even put you on air. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll but, put them on. But we want we want to challenge everybody out there. That if you're listening and your company's able, um, especially uh, yesterday I, we were at our uh, the uh, Ocoee River Builders Association meeting. All my Orba folks out there that are builders, I know we've, COVID has made our lives pretty good the last couple of years. Uh, unfortunately, folks are taking care of their homes because they can't leave them. So let's give some of that back. I want to challenge everybody, all our fellow Orba folks and other contractors, builders, remodelers in town, uh, come up here and, 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 and let's let's give, let's give to this. Let's make sure this is something that's supported because um, this is all going to culminate on December 11th. And where's that going to be at? It'll be at Elkoy Middle School. We'll we'll start having the first school come through with the parents will be coming through and we'll deliver the packages to the cars and uh, hopefully they'll take them home and put them under the tree. The the what the beauty of what we're doing now is we actually wrap every oh. well I call it wrap but we bag every gift in a Christmas bag. Yeah. And uh, that way the child doesn't know what they're getting and we want the parents to take responsibility and you know if they celebrate christmas eve or christmas day put it on the tree and have a good family christmas as we talk about donations we get a lot of big donations but you know those one dollar donations the five dollar donations <clears throat> and how many children brenda and steve do we have who say that they started out as a child giving a dollar for every year they're old and they're giving today big amounts but well, don't turn down a dollar because no. it takes it takes dollars to make thousand mm dollars -hmm. and some of you out there listen maybe that you, you know you're not in a position where you can give a whole lot come by the radio station <clears throat> make sure you give your name they'll get it to brenda because next year they're going to need volunteers they're going to need shoppers i know you said this year was kind of hard to find shoppers right you were scram scrambling for volunteers right yeah this year was a little tough for volunteers but uh, they can um come by the station while we're on the air and give a name and if they have an email address or phone number so we know who to contact because we'll, we'll we will start shopping uh right around first of november next year so folks one company in town actually had their employees come in on sunday and paid them for being off hmm. that's fantastic yeah listen hmm. these are the kind of shows that make you when you hear about these kind of organizations that should make you just love our city and love our community and love we can all complain about the traffic on paul huff <laughs> but we can be really happy that our city has heart and it, we're the city with spirit in a lot of different ways and you can take that however you need to take it um i'm proud of you i'm proud to be a part of this city i'm proud to be involved with this steve i know this is something that's not just a business decision this is personal with you because mm -hmm. your, your grandfather is a part kind of a part of this mm -hmm. so i just want to say thank you for putting your time and resources because there's plenty of other things this time of year that you could have, the station could be making money on. It's the uh, it's the identity, uh, really, uh, of the station the entire year. Yeah. This is the biggest thing we do all year. Yeah. 
Well, listen, we're going to get out of here. Brenda, Mayor, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having us. One more time. If you got a donation you want to bring it by right here at the radio station on mouse creek across from duracell if you want to make a donation online emptystocking.org folks until we until next saturday enjoy a happy 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 thanksgiving happy holidays happy merry christmas happy hanukkah because that actually starts super duper early this year uh and uh just remember take care of your family love your neighbor we're in this together we'll see you guys soon Till then, you've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Bucks.